Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with Zul'jin. So, the last time we left off, we were playing around out near the ocean with, uh, with our boathouse, and I'm to the point to where I'm going to need a landscape a little bit, so what I decided to do is gather up a couple of experience levels, and enchant a shovel. Nothing major. Um, I just wanted to get something hopefully that will help my job a little bit easier. And I'm gonna go for, yeah, 10 will be fine. Let's see what we get. Efficiency 1. Perfect. Efficiency is gonna make sure, I guess, that the dirt just drops in one lick. Uh, unbreaking would have been nice, but hey, you know, what do you, what do you want for just a few minutes down in the spider spawner room? And I think we got everything else that we need um, besides a, a lot of wood. So I'm going to go grab just my last stack of wood. Now guys, I swear it hasn't been raining and it just started raining again. I can't believe it's going to make us go through this again with the ambient noises. Ah, well. Let's see, can I sleep? No. Oh gosh. Well, it looks like it'll be another complicated day. Hmm. Oh well. But anyway, so I hope you guys are enjoying the series and, you know, getting the stuff built around the ocean side. I think we're going to do a lighthouse right next to it or kind of combine it after this. But what I want to do right now is just finish the task at hand. There's going to be plenty of landscaping to do in this area. See, I want to get rid of all this sand. It's so close to a desert biome and the coast. That's kind of what you get, you know. Well, so far it seems pretty fast, seems pretty efficient. But boy, it sure is real skippy with the rain. We've been thinking about doing an upgrade. It's so close to Christmas time, though. Maybe after Christmas, I'll... I'll come up with a plan to get me something new and improved. Right now, though, we'll... Stick with old Reliable. So I hadn't played around much anymore with the design idea... For the, uh... The gate process, so... It should be interesting to see how this plays out. Oh, I hate for all this sand to go to waste, y'all. I got so many spiders. Let me just do this. Yeah, that looks good. I didn't need that stone sword. That was basically just what I was using in the spider spawner area. I think we'll call it enough for now. Okay, so we're back in our little area. Now, I want boats to be able to come in and dock. So I don't think we're quite far enough out yet. And I don't have my axe anymore. Yikes. Let's make one right quick. Even though we really don't have room for it. There's so many things I could have dropped. Yeah, we'll keep those off for now. No biggie. Yeah, I can go ahead and seal that in like that. Okay. So now... <coughs> To wire this up to where it's going to allow boat access is going to be pretty interesting. I don't really know how it's going to work, to tell you the truth. <laughs> because for starters, let's get a little bit of, uh, of wood going here. For starters, 
I want the pistons to be able to move a gate, so to speak. And I don't know whether to come from top to bottom or side to side. I did a side to side design in creative and it was okay. Um, but it was, I don't know, just the way it worked out, the wiring was really like I needed really thick walls and I don't know if I like that. Um, and if I work with top and bottom, then I won't really need thick walls, but it might mess up the water flow. So I'm not too sure how that's going to work yet. So uh, what I'm going to do <clears throat> for now is just go for the side to side deal. And if I don't like it, we'll play around with the top bottom idea. So let's see. I know I'm going to need three thickness for sure. One for the actual gate. And one on each side for the wiring. And hopefully, I don't need to go much thicker than that. But I think I still might have to go like five thick. So the pistons... Do I still have them? Yeah. We need to get sticky pistons here. And I uh, actually just need two more pistons. So let's see if I remember how to make this. It was three iron. No. It was one, two, three, four iron. And three wood. And redstone and what god I don't remember no none of that let me look it up guys be right back alright guys I don't know how I forgot this but it's stone that was the missing component there this should do it yeah there so we needed two more anyway and four more of these. There, I have two more pistons. And we're just gonna finish these up with the stickies. Now, stickies are just precisely what they look like. Um, some whatever that touches a sticky piston sticks with it. It moves with it. So if there's a piece of stone attached to a sticky piston, it'll move with it. With it. In this case, I'd like to try gates now. I think iron bars are like that, yeah. And that's what we're going to try to use. I don't know how they react with water so much yet, so I'm just going to run a few tests here. First thing I need to do is put down some dirt so that it doesn't freak out. I don't want the water to freak out like it's trying to do now there we go I almost just killed myself with drowning okay <clears throat> so with a sticky piston we have I guess I'll place it like this for now just to see how it works and then I'll put my gate. Yeah, it actually closes in the water. I was not hoping for that actually. If I can I even mind that? Hmm. I hope so. Yeah. Alright. No, I didn't want to throw away my pick. Okay. Let's see how this reacts here. So, yeah, so that'll still close. Alright. So it looks like... Let's see how this stuff stacks. Y'all bear with me. I'll figure this out. So it stacks just like that. And that happens when there's two. Okay. 
So four would make it. Okay. I think we might have to do the top to bottom things, guys. I'm just not sure yet how that's going to work. If we do bottom, it's going to have to come up. I think it's going to have to go down three. So I don't want it messing with the water. Let's see. There's only one way to really find out how this will work. And put my bars on top of this. And see what happens when I do that. And if they become close to one another. No, they don't do like glass did. Not specifically, I don't believe. Well, they do left from right, but they don't. Um, see, what I meant was this. Oh, no. They don't do like that at all. Oh. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Well, maybe the iron bars altogether are a bad idea. Not a bad idea, just not what we're looking for for this particular function. Okay. So, what I think we're going to do instead we're going to let's see, if we put another sticky piston And let's see, that's a space here, and that's a space here. And we're going to have something connected to it there as well. Let's just use wood for now. Okay, and that face space will be occupied. This space will be occupied when they're closed. So wood is going to be here and here. And sticky pistons here. Oh no. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's gonna work, but it's just gonna be the way I have to put it. Let's see. Okay, sticky piston there. Sticky piston no. <laughs> Bear with me here, y'all. Sticky piston there. Alright. Now we can put our wood. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> I did that wrong. <clears throat> yeah, it takes forever when you're doing it underwater. Okay. There. Okay. Now I'm straight. So now when you fire these things off, you're going to get this type of action. And you're going to have a closed gate. Now is it working on the bottom too? It sure is. Well, it's working for that one. Let's see. Those two are both active. Those two are active. Okay, good. So. That's good. That's what we want. And. It does not mess up the water flow. Well, it does mess up the water flow. So we're definitely going to need to. Put something at the bottom here. This will have to be water because this will be an inlet. So let's do that. Grab a little bit of water where I can. See if you grab it deep enough, 
you know, you shouldn't have a problem there. Now, if we go here, I'm going to need water one more time. Go grab a source block down there again. That looks good. Definitely going to need to make that only one level deep, too, because you'll never get the calm water that you want without it. <clears throat> Just like that. Now, now we're good. Just need to make this wood so it looks right. Okay, so, inlet's done. Let's trim this up a bit. Just make all this wood. Okay, now, I'm pretty happy with this scenario right here. Actually, I think I'm going to turn that into half slabs there. Let's do that. Did it stop raining? Oh, man, it's about time. Sheesh. Okay. Half slabs are gonna go there. Let's make them right quick. Uh, let's get six half slabs. Let's start with that. And let's see here. There. Now, I'm still concerned with the way this is going to work, so I'm going to give it one more test. Okay, now. Yeah, that's not quite enough space, I don't believe. So. <laughs> it's weird that this takes a pick. <laughs> that's just a little strange in my opinion. Okay, no problem. And we need to change it up with some water. And go grab some down here. And there. Now, the half slabs would we'll just go with like that. Okay. So now I have plenty of room. this I'd like, I don't know if I'm going to expand this into any more water, but I think that'll be good right there, because all I need is a little launch, and if I undo that, it does not mess up the integrity of the source blocks. That's exactly what I wanted, y'all. <laughs> I basically didn't want any current coming in, or out. I just wanted it to be flat, and when I activate the pistons, it closes. Okay, so we need a switch on the inside and the outside of the dock house. And we also need to cover this section up to make it look 
finished. So, what I'm going to do is go like that and try that out to see. Yep, still does exactly what I want it to do. Okay, perfect. So we can go up a little higher here. And the same on this side. Now, to wire these up, I'm going to need to put redstone around, so... I know I'm going to need at least, hmm, <laughs> this is going to be real tough to work. Let's see. I'm take this rope out for now. Okay. So for an inside switch, we're okay with this. Not really. <laughs> I don't know. That I don't think that's gonna do it. Let's try it out. Yeah, it does it. I don't even know if we need this then. Or that. Nope. Yeah. Okay. So we're learning a little bit. Cool. Okay, I'm going to take this down for now just so we can replicate the wiring job. So that means this can be interconnected and there can be a switch there. Good. That's what we want. So, torch. Good. Okay, and is the bottom done as well? Nope, it sure isn't. So let's see. But if we go, hmm, this is where it's going to start to get interesting, y'all. Can I put redstone in the, no, I can't put redstone in the water, can I? Sure can't. So, let's see. What we'll need is... What happened there? Oh, that's weird. That's very weird. That block affected that piston from going off. Hmm. Okay. So if I can make the same thing happen here... Well, guys, that remains a mystery to me. That is so strange. But, <laughs> it works, so we'll take it. Alright. So, now that these are both done, <clears throat> how would we wire a switch? If we did that, and added this... Just like that. And let's see. That allows what kind of room here? All right. What's different about this setup? Oh no, I'm in the channel. I didn't want to do that. Okay, 
that's how it's set up on that side. Now, if I take the wood up top and connect them like that. Okay, so now I got that. And if I move this like that and like that and I put a lever on the outside let's see I don't know if that works like that or maybe it's a button I'm gonna need something let's try I think it's a stick and a stone for a lever and I don't have any sticks man things are tight right here I should probably just do a chest sooner or later <laughs> let's see okay stick and stone like that for a lever Let's see what that looks like. Let's see what happens here. Nothing. And this bouncing in the water is not going to help me either. Okay. Let's try it here. There we go. So now, floodgates are closed. Okay, that's good. Now, how will it work from the inside is another thing I want to know. If I do another lever, let's make a couple more. Hmm. Okay. So it's not reversible in that matter. So I don't know how that's going to work, but for now, I'm happy with that outcome. Okay. So we've got that now. All of this needs to be sealed in. So let's work on doing that. not to do that. Let's cut that circuitry. There. Okay. And now... No. I went not far enough over. Oh, it's wired differently that way. That's why. And it's raining again. Well, y'all, it's just, we're destined to have bad weather. That's all she wrote. I'm going to have to go one more, I think, no, 
think it might be... Nope, I'm definitely going to have to come one more out. And I'm going to have to go one higher. Crazy complicated stuff here. Avoiding all that redstone. That's why I didn't want to build a house. Can you imagine the havoc that this would have done? On our design, you know? Okay. So... Just need to get some height here because I don't know which way to go next. Okay. Not blocking anything. Good. And if I go there, I'll definitely be blocking stuff. So, I'm just going to have to go over that. And that's all going to be sealed up now. Okay, and check out the front, make sure we still got that. Oh, the front's not sealed up. Let's go ahead and seal that up. Oh, we can't seal that up. So, <laughs> oh man, the challenges of working with this stuff is just unreal. Okay, so what about if we just do this? No, that's not going to work either. Because, yeah, that'll actually work. Okay. Alright, we'll make this work. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we'll make it work. We're wasting a little bit of wood here, but... It's, uh, ah, <laughs> it's for the greater good. Where's my third block that I put? I don't even know where it's at anymore. Oh, well. Let's just finish cleaning it up. That's what's good about creative. You don't have to bob in water and stuff. You can just fly around. But that wouldn't be fun. I think we're just going to finish that off with some wood stairs. Let's see. First, let me seal this in. Let's spot our eyes. Wood. There. in, that's closed in, oh. <laughs> there we go, alright, now, yeah, now I'm going to need some stairs, Wood stairs. Oh, heck. Let's see here. Hmm. Where can I drop? Oh, these spider eyes are just in my way right now. We'll get those for sure, but right now, I just want to give this the roof appearance. Alright, now we need to light it up. Let's give us a little bit of light. Alright, and here we have it, y'all. All wired up and ready. It's 
stops the water flow. Can't go in. Can't come out until it's done like that. And let's see if I can do something with that. I don't know if I can the way the wet redstone is working. I think I can. Still works just fine. Perfect. Well, guys, there you have it. There is the working floodgate system, and there's a creeper destroying my crap. Man. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get some rest in our bed so that it doesn't destroy our creation. And when we come back next episode, guys, we will try to get this area finished up. I want to see the uh, I want to see how the house is going to work into this wharf and what other kind of little uh, finishing touches we can add to the, the floodgate system and uh, the boathouse. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. This is Zuljin signing off and have a great day.